Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we are exploring AI tools and automation magic. Today we are diving into an incredible open source project called Continue, a leading AI code assistant that integrates directly into your favorite IDAs like Visual St uh, Studio Code and uh, JetBrains. But that's not all. I will show you how to integrate Continue with M8N, the open source workflow automation platform, to build some truly powerful coding workflows. Whether you are a developer, a hobbyist, or someone exploring automation, this is a must watch. So let's get started. Continue.dev is an open source AI powered code assistant designed to supercharge your coding experience, and here is what it does. It's auto complete, suggests the code snippets and auto completion as you type, speeding up your coding. Chat based support it allows you to interact with an AI model to ask questions or get questions in natural language. Code editing helps you modify uh, uh, or re refactor code directly into your IDI by simply describing the changes you want. And also custom model integration. So what you can do with it, you can connect a continue to a range of AI models such as OpenAI AI GPT, Cohere or uh, even self-hosted models giving you full control over your tools. Okay, so with over 20,000 stars on GitHub, continue has gained a immense uh, popularity for its flexibility, powerful features and developer first approach. It's a perfect tool if you want to boost productivity while coding. So key features at a glance, okay, integration support works seamlessly with IDAs like Visual Studio Code and JetBrains, extensibility, highly customizable workflows for different coding styles and tasks, open source, licensed under Apache 2.0, making it free to use and modify. Why should you use Continue? Let's quickly highlight when, uh, why Continue stands out among I, uh, other AI assistants. It's customizable. You can configure your own workflows and integrate your preferred AI models. It's privacy friendly. Open source nature means you are not locked into a proprietary system. It's efficient. S uh, spend less time searching for code snippets or debugging issues. So whether you are working on a personal project or managing a team, Continuous AI tools can make development faster and more intuitive. Okay, so now let's talk about the installation. To install that on the ADI like VS Code, for example, you just need to navigate to Extension Marketplace and search for, uh, for Continue. Then click Install and restart your IDE. Okay. The second step will be configure the AI model. So open the Continue setting, uh, settings by clicking uh, uh, on it, its icon and on the IDA sidebar. Okay, and after that, you just need to add, add your API key for the preferred AI model, like OpenAI's API key if using G GPT models. Customize the options, such as enabling autocomplete chat support or specific integration for your workflow. What is N8N? N8N is an open source workflow automation tool that allows you to connect different apps, services, and APIs to automate repetitive tasks. Think of it as a self-hosted, highly customizable alternative to tools like Zapier. So why use N8A? Flexibility. Builds custom workflows tailored to your needs. It's very cost-effective, free to use with self-hosting options. And it's developer-friendly. Supports custom code and integrations. So by combining N8 and Continue, you can um, create powerful automation pipelines that utilize AI for coding tasks while connecting other tools in your stack. Now let's talk about integrating Continue.dev with N8N. So first, why integrate? Integrating a continue with N8N allows you to automate coding workflows, such as generating boilerplate code or reviewing pull requests. You can leverage AI-generated insights in broader automation workflows, and also you can build intelligent systems combining coding and data from various sources. So first step would be identifying continuous APIs or plugin features. So to continue support custom extension and external interactions, identify the API endpoints provided by continue for tasks like generating code completions or ha handling queries. Second step would be setting up an 8N. So you just need to install N8 on your local machine or server, access the N8 editor at HTTP uh, localhost uh, 5678, and then create a new workflow by clicking on New Workflow. 
The third step would be use the HTTP request node. So you need to add HTTP request node into your workflow, configure the node. You just need to use the method post URL, enter the continue API endpoint, okay, headers um, and body. And after that, you can see there is an example of a, a JSON payload, okay? One of those examples you're gonna see over there. The first, the fourth step will be process the response. So you just add a function node to parse and process the response and use JavaScript to manipulate the AI generated output. And here is the uh, code in a late function node. And the fifth step would be automating follow-up actions. Okay, so add additional nodes to act on the AI response, such as sending the generated code to GitHub repository, notifying team members, or saving results to a database. Also, the best practices for integration. Okay, you need to secure uh, your API key is very important. You just need to store sensitive keys in environment variables or annihilate credentials. You need to optimize prompts, tailor your prompts to get the most accurate responses from continue and test workflows. So you run multiple tests to ensure that both continue and NIA are inter interactive as expected. And that's it. By combining continuous.dev's AI co uh, coding capabilities with N8N's automation power, you can transform your development workflow. From generating code snippets to building fully automated systems, the possibilities are endless. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tutorials like that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.